friends, this video on kinetic theory part 10 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Please make sure that you have watched all the videos from part 1 to part 9 before going ahead with part 10. What is basically the Dalton's law of partial pressure? It states that the total pressure of a mixture of ideal gases is the sum of partial pressures. That means if you have several ideal gases mixed together in a vessel, then the total pressure of that mixture is equal to the sum of the partial pressures. So what is partial pressure? That is an important term to be explained. Partial pressure is basically the pressure exerted if that is if a, by a particular gas if only that gas is present in the vessel. Let us suppose that in a vessel you have a mixture of three gases A, B, C. So partial pressure of A means the pressure that is exerted only by A. Considering that the vessel consists of gas A alone, there is no B or C. Similarly, partial pressure of B means that the pressure exerted due to B, considering A and C are not there. So this law, that is Dalton's law, states that the total pressure of the mixture of A, B, C is equal to partial pressure of A plus partial pressure of B plus partial pressure of C. So I hope now you understood what is Dalton's law. Now we will see how does our perfect gas equation conclude or proves the Dalton's law of partial pressure. So to start with, let us suppose we have a mixture of ideal gases. So when I say ideal gases, that means these gases are non-interacting. That is, they do not interact with each other. Right? So from ideal gas equation, we know that PV is equal to mu RT. So if we see, if we say that this mixture of gases are in a vessel of volume V at temperature T and pressure P. In that case, PV will be equal to, what is mu? Mu is the number of moles. But now we have several gases. So the number of moles will be mu1 plus mu2 plus mu3 plus shown RT. So this we can write as P is equal to mu1 plus mu2 plus mu3 plus dot 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 RT divided by V. So this can again be written as mu1 RT by V plus mu2 RT by V plus so on. So this is nothing but mu RT by V is P1. Similarly mu2 RT by V is P2 and so on. So what is this P1? This is nothing but partial pressure of gas 1. Similarly this is of gas 2 and so on. So what do we see? We see that the total pressure due to the mixture of gases is equal to the sum of the partial pressures of the gases. Right? Thus we Till now, what all did we study in this chapter? We introduced what is kinetic theory. We said that the kinetic theory's basis is the molecular structure of matter. So we discussed about the molecular structure of matter. We discussed about behavior of gases. We discussed ideal gas equation and the deviation of real gases from ideal gas. And how does ideal gas equation proves the different gas laws that is the Dalton's law or Boyle's law or Charles law. Now we will solve certain problems on whatever we studied so far and then we will go ahead to kinetic theory of ideal gas. Thank you. Please visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, 
study from the best tutors and mentors and much more. Thank you once again.